I stand here as leader of the British Labour Party, a party that is proud of the part it played in helping to bring peace and stability to Northern Ireland. Something many believed could never be achieved. The transformation we've seen in Belfast alone since 1998 is remarkable. I visited the city many times long before today's speech became a reality and have witnessed a very visible and cultural transformation that's taken place. For all the current problems and deadlock, there can be no doubt that devolution and power sharing have given every community a voice and helped maintain that peace process. Of course, there are still plenty of disagreements, passionate debates and high emotions, but the Good Friday Agreement has allowed those conflicts to be played out in a democratic structure, underpinned by rights for all rather than through violence. So I want to send this message to the people. Labour is as committed to the Good Friday Agreement as we have ever been. It has served us well for 20 years with commitment and determination will provide us with a framework for the next 20. And with that in mind, I want to make a plea to all parties and all sides. We must do all we can to make power sharing work again in Stormont. We need all sides to come together and make devolution work again. That means tough choices. It... it means tough choices, it means compromise and, it... and give and take. But we owe it to the people of these islands not to allow political disagreements to open the way for any return to the grim days of the past. Look at what Stormont has achieved. You resisted many of the worst aspects of the UK government's punitive social security policies using the powers provided by devolution. There is so much more that could be achieved. From a full-scale upgrade of the Northern Ireland economy and investment in good jobs for all communities to the historic step of equal marriage. Opposition to the idea of bringing back a hard border to this land isn't just about avoiding paperwork or tariffs, important as that obviously is, it's about deep-rooted cultural and community ties. An open border is a symbol of peace. Two communities living and working together after years of conflict. Communities who no longer feel that their traditions are under threat. Theresa May has a hard decision to make. People here need clarity. If she can't face down the reckless ideologues in her own party, Labour will give Parliament the opportunity to do it instead. We will protect peace and prosperity by preventing the return of a hard border to, on this island. Well, I'm glad that Jeremy Corbyn's here. I'm glad that he's listening. He's doing more than the Conservative Party have been doing when their ministers come in. On, don't tell anybody they're coming and sneak in and talk to a few people and, and sneak out again. So I think the fact that he's here is a good sign. I mean, he's going to, over the course of the next two days, go out and speak to people in border communities. He'll hear it firsthand, the implications of Brexit on the island of Ireland. So I think that that in itself is a significant effect. The fact that he came and he went onto the platform, he delivered a, an address, but he also was open to taking questions from the floor on the key topic of today, which is obviously Brexit and is also the Unity referendum. Our interest is making sure that we achieve special status, that there's uniqueness here on the island of Ireland and that we don't want to stay in the customs union and the single market. We need to protect the Good Friday Agreement in all of its parts. We need to protect the relationship north-south but also the relationship east-west. And I think that that's, that's our objective to achieve in this, in this negotiation. It is a crunch time in the negotiation uh, and particularly now as we go into the June Council meeting. And, and Labour have a key role to play in terms of their influence in Westminster and what they bring to the debate out there. Um, unfortunately at this moment in time they don't have a, a very fairly different uh, position to, to the Conservative government. So I think that um, what we're going to do is just keep making the case for our own unique circumstances here. We're going to do is keep trying to influence that uh, negotiation and the role that even Labour play in, in all of these talks. 
we're now part of a market that has 500 million people in it and uh, some of the hard Brexiteers want us to completely leave that market and join a market of about 60 million. Well that's economic madness. So our view is that you want to be able to trade with Britain and with the EU, uh, including the Irish Republic. So we want to be able to trade with everybody. We're not interested in borders anywhere. Uh, we think economic uh, access across these islands and across the European continent is the way to do it. And the only way to do that, in our view, and I think it's in most people's uh, view, is to have maintenance of the single market and customs union for all of us.